Hi this is Chano On in Samsung Korea. I'll introduce our paper the name of SampleWise Label Confidence Incorporation for Learning with Noisy Labels. For construct dataset to train a deep neural network, a large number of samples should be labeled. However, due to the human error such as a simple mistake or a complex image, many noisy labels appear. These noisy labels are harmful for training network. As you can see the graph, the noise ratio increases then the performance degrades gradually. This performance degradation is because of the property of cross-entropy loss. The cross-entropy imposes strong penalty for a low prediction probability. And this forces wrong labels to be trained. There are various recent methods to resolve this problem, but in this representation we only deal with loss-based methods. They alleviate the strong penalty as you can see the graph. Unfortunately, this alleviation also affects learning the correct labels. These methods have been reported as having low convergence speed and poor performance. This phenomenon is clearly represented when there is not any incorrect labels. See the graph. To address this issue, our method was started from simple idea, adaptive penalty. Briefly, cross entropy loss overfits incorrect labels and noise robust loss underfits correct labels. Then, we can impose sample-wise penalty based on its label confidence. The following contents in this representation are about how to design the label confidence and sample-wise penalty. This is an overview of our method. Our method consists of two models, noise robust model and noise free model. Briefly, the noise robust model predicts a sample-wise label confidence. Then the noise-free model learns classifying samples with their label confidence. At inference phase, only noise-free model is used. Label confidence is derived by noise-robust model. The model is trained by a noise-robust loss such as MEI or GCE. They are known to train easy samples. So, in early phase, the noise-robust model can guide the noise-free model to train a certain easy samples. Also, we propose intuitive constraints to define the mapping function between noise robust loss and label confidence. The mapping function should decrease monotonically and clip the loss if it is sufficiently low. After the label confidence is derived, we just multiply it into sample wise cross entropy loss. If the label confidence can decrease the noise ratio, this model can be trained on easier dataset. The noise-free model also guides the noise-robust model by distilling its knowledge. We know that cross-entropy can help the model learn samples quickly. However, is it also help model improve its performance? To answer this question, we provide our theoretical analysis. When the mapping function satisfies the certain conditions we mentioned, our optimization can approach the vicinity of the optimal point for the noise-robust loss. For more details, our model is trained using these loss functions. First, noise robust loss is existing loss function such as GCE or MEI. Then, for designing the label confidence we use a sigmoid function on the noise robust loss. One can adjust the impact of cross entropy loss by using different functions. The last term is penalty function for the distance between the noise robust model and noise free model. These are our experimental results. Ours shows state-of-the-art performance on both synthetic and real-world dataset. More experiments including ablation studies are represented in our paper. Thank you.